But coming into round number five here at Southwick, things changed in a hurry. Yeah, things changed a lot for him. He, Hunter had a good practice section, uh, didn't get the best to start, didn't get the, uh, a good jump, but as we're looking at Justin Cooper with Jalik Swole behind him, but the number 128 was gonna have something to say about all these guys at the end of the day. Yeah, so here is Hunter, not the best start, started to roll his way forward, and he was still banged up for the crashes last week. He gets around Seth Hamaker. Yeah, he was making up some really good time. Tough to do that. A lot of guys fell in this corner right here where Seth Hamaker goes down. Easy, easy corner to fall in. It's kind of off camera as well. Now Tom Vial is second, and Justin Cooper, your leader, goes down. Yeah, what you were just saying, uh, a lot of guys fell in this corner. Uh, Justin Cooper went down as well and with the lead. And at that point, Tom Vial was closing in on him, so maybe he was putting a little bit of pressure. But this guy was feeling good all day long, and he was able to continue as we're watching. Um, Hayden Deegan went down as well. You know, Tom Vial worked good, or looked good all day long. Uh, just looked really precise. This did not look good. So Hunter Lawrence puts in all the work, able to rally, good points. And with two laps to go, his bike lets go. Yeah. And now the points lead's gone as well. Smoked it. Yeah, the thing was, it was smoking. And that's a tough position, because as you said, it was only two laps left. So he put all the work in just not to uh, finish points and after what we saw last weekend that was a tough uh, hit for him but this guy was a man of the hour yeah so tom Vial is going to win his first ever moto in the u.s and the first motos have been a problem the best before this in a moto one was seven so a huge turnaround for him cooper after the tip over would finish second and honda goes to work with an engine swap yeah there's the unsung heroes right there i was trying to see what the cam uh cover looks like See if it has any holes in it. I can't quite tell, but uh, see if it threw a rod or whatever in the valve, but oh well. A new motor for Moto2 and a great motor there for Vial. Yeah, Tom, he had that, he had the hole shot before the gate even dropped on that. And he knew he was getting it. It was just confidence. And Hunter Lawrence didn't get the best to start. He had that bad gate pick, the 25th. He was on the far outside and did a good job at not going down. But this motor was just going to be a struggle like for him just to keep fighting. But Tom Vial, um, as up, up front, and then we have Far East Coast. I was talking about him during the week. His finishes was average, and no more average Joe. He was able to um, get that lead and never let go of it. Yeah, he's he's certainly a guy that has the speed to win. And look at Danger Boy. He's going down. That is just when you come out kind of over in the back section of the track, over by where the pit area is. So Shimoda into the lead of the Moto, but he finished sixth in Moto 1. So the battle for the overalls between these two, Justin Cooper powering around Vial for second. That's a tough pass to do. I mean, he was using up a lot of track right there, inside to the outside. I mean, he probably is doing double the footage. Yeah. But as he went after Shimoda, he goes down. Yeah, and he said in his post-race interview that maybe he was um, riding, overriding yeah. the motorcycle. So what you were just saying, that was a lot of, that was an aggressive pass. Well, it got a little bit aggressive, but he was able to get up and, and salvage uh, second. But the man was right here, which is great to see him back on here, Joe Shimoda. First moto win of the year. First one since the final moto of last season. So he's back on the board. It won't be the overall win, but you can see he is very pumped on this one. Big panic rev right there to celebrate back on the board. And there was second Cooper and third goes to Vial. And that'll be enough for Vial on the 128 to take the day's overall win with 1-3 scores. And that is his first ever overall win in America. Shimoda and Cooper there on the podium with them, with him. And RJ Hampshire, Gave it everything he had, as always, but ends up fourth overall for the fourth time at the Southwick National. Hayden Deegan only sixth today, so maybe not the performance he wanted on the track, but because it's such a bad day for Hunter Lawrence with the bike problem, he takes over the points lead. So Hayden Deegan now will have the red plate coming into our next race at Millville, Minnesota. Lawrence is just five back, and suddenly Hampshire, Cooper, Shimoda are all within one moto.